What is up, my turtles? My name is Jimmy, also known as Jimmy Tortuga, and welcome to the semifinals of PDL Doubles. I hope you guys are excited. I am, of course, your coach for the Herkimer Dreadnoughts. Today, as I've just mentioned, is the semifinals match versus the Hawaii Haunters. So this is the only team throughout the regular season that I did not win against. Every other team I, I did, uh, we walked away with an amazing 5-1 record. I was pretty happy with how the team played and whatnot. It's it's really, really cool. So Haunter is ready. As you can see, we're connected. We're all ready. Vardy is not going to fail us now. I've got a good prep, good strategy going in. But Haunter is an amazing battler. I wish you the best of luck, my friend. Let's have a great battle. And let me not do what I did last time and do stupid predicts. Let's go. Alright, so, I anticipate the Palkia this time. I was 100% right. No Clefable, which is really good. Um, instead, we see Halucha. Halucha is kind of an interesting uh, interesting bring, but I believe the Halucha will be there to kind of keep uh, uh, Xander, which I n did nicknames, by the way, this uh, for the semifinals, uh, Xander our Calyrex here. But my plan, the only thing that would stop me from doing what I want to do is if he leads the Palkia. But I am going to go big and strong to start off with. And uh, we will go from there, my friends. So this is the team. Good luck, have fun. Um, I know exactly, like I said, I knew my strategy coming into this. I just worry about the, the Palkia lead. He leads anything else. Perfect. It's like, that's what I want to see. But um, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. So good luck. Have fun to my friend uh, Haunter. The Hawaii Haunters. This is uh, nerve-wracking. So we'll see what happens here in the in the beginning. Now, I also have to be worry, uh, mindful of the Zorark there. Okay, so that is not bad at all. That's not bad at all. Um, okay, 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 I see you, I see you. I know exactly what my play is. I know exactly what my play is. Uh, what is, uh, what is Gengar's base speed? So if I do this, I feel like I'm looking at the wrong screen, guys. Sorry about that. Uh, if I do P, this button, and then I do this really quick. Yes, I'm faster. All right, uh, we're going to protect the bird. And then Nesquik is going immediately into beats. <clears throat> yes, that was a good play. That was a good play. That was a good play. That is a good play. I forget what was at the bottom of his list, to be fair. So I don't know what the Zorark is going to be. But... I'm kind of thinking, because the Zorark isn't entirely... Because the Zorark could be the Rillaboom, that is fine. So, Fox, we're going to protect with Fox. We're not going to risk that fake out. Yeah! Let's go! Let's go. I don't think... Perfect first turn. Perfect first turn. I don't think that Zorark gets a fake out. We're going ahead. Let's go. All right. All right. So now, what do I want to do? We got to see what he. We got to see what he brings in here. We got to see what he brings in here. Um, again, it's like I wasn't paying attention. Though I can look at the Pokemon list. I can look at the Pokemon list. He's got the boosted to defense. That's fine. Um, let's look at the Pokemon list. So it could be Magmar at any point. It could be at Magmar, if I remember, if I remember Zorark's ability properly. Okay. I'm kind of thinking Brave Birding. 
into space for rent. And then honestly, the G Max Fireball, even with the plus one, although Max Knuckle. I'm kind of thinking the G, uh, the Max Knuckle to start off with. Brave Bird into Space for Rent, that won't KO it. I think I'm going to just go G Max Fireball. We'll see what happens. <clears throat> so Fox is going to Brave Bird. Does a decent amount of damage. Okay, okay. Rock Slide, that sucks. Dead Bird. <laughs> no, not the crit on this quick. Rip. Alright, no big deal, no big deal. Alright, G-Max Fireball. And we still take it out. Power Gem. And we live. We live. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go! What do we do from here? What do we do from here? He still has the potential of the Magmar. And he might have Protect. I think I'm going to go into P2 to play it safe. Quack! Heat Stroke. Is that actually Heat Stroke, though? Let's find out. <clears throat> um, I do think the Palkia is going to protect, but I think the Max Knuckle, the plus one, would be really, really nice. So let's see if that happens. Max Knuckle. We change to a fighting type. Let's go. So the Magmar should go first, or if it's the Zora Arc. Scorching Sands. But we're about to find out if it's actually Zorark or not. Does a decent amount of damage. It is indeed. It is indeed the Magmar. Okay. That's good to know. Uh, let's go into Rocky. Any reason not to go into Rocky? Boom and Palkia are both dead. No. I think we're good. <clears throat> I have a ride on. Beware. Alright. Uh, we are going to lock into high horsepower. And we're going to hit uh, Heat Stroke. Because sadly with Hyper Beam, the problem with Hyper Beam is that I have to recharge. So his last mon is Zorark. Okay, okay. So this is a big turn. This is a big turn for Haunter. So I commend I commend Haunter for uh, taking their time to do this one. Papa G protects. Okay. Rocky used high horsepower. That'll get rid of heat stroke, and then I need to recharge. Okay, let's go. Quack must recharge. And then here comes, here comes Papa G. Which one is the real Papa G? 
That's so funny. Ooh. So I'm gonna Ice Beam that one. And I'm gonna High Horsepower that one. I think that's right. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Let's see what. Uh, let's see what happens here. I didn't think it was gonna be a double Gengar. That's actually really, really funny. Which Gengar is which? <laughs> I have to pick which is which. <laughs> and here comes the white spooky ghost. Booga booga booga. So which one was it? It was the one on the right. Okay. Papa G uses protect. It fails. Max overgrowth. Bye, right on. Sag. Sag. And then ice beam. We'll see. We'll see that. And then there's the Zorark. <clears throat> Optical illusion. The grass disappeared from the battlefield, which is kind of funny. All right. Um, I still have Xander technically, but I have Huntress as well. Do 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 do. Both are weak against Ghost and Dark, so this is going to be interesting. I don't know which is faster. Curse body is nice. Okay. Let's send in Huntress. Hmm. I think I'm going to Shadow Ball into Papa G. And then Dazzling Gleam is not very effective there. The Psychic is over here. Hmm. I think I'd get the damage off. Assuming I can live, so let's go ahead and do that. Optical is going to protect. Fair enough. G-Max Terror into Gardevoir. Does not live. Quack can no longer escape, that's fine. Shadow Ball into Papa G. Does a lot of damage. Crit. And then it's got Black Sludge, okay? So now it's just the Xander. It's got a choice item on it, so I didn't put Protect on it. I would so Protect if I could. Alright, let's lock into Glacial Lance, and uh, we'll Ice Beam the Optical. This is, this is coming down to the wire. It all depends on if the max overgrowth into Porygon. Interesting choice. Interesting choice there. I guess they wanted the grass. Does Zorark get Grassy Glide? Foul play, which is going to hurt. Ah! Dang. All right, and then we ice beamed into the Zorark, so we can get rid of that. So now the question becomes, can Gengar KO the Porygon? So now the question becomes, can the Gengar KO the Porygon? This is one heck of a match.
so I click Shadow Ball. There's nothing else that I can do. Gengar is faster. It uses Protect. Okay, there's nothing I can do there. He's trying to get some health back, which is really good, but I don't I don't think Gengar is going to be able to knock it out. Whatever grass move it has, I think it might be its only move. It's got a grass move, a ghost move, which it can't hit me because I'm normal, and it has protect. So it's got a fourth move that we don't know what it is yet. Energy ball. Which is doing basically nothing. We Shadow Ball, and that should be the victory! Let's go! Let's go! What a match, Haunter! That was an amazing battle, my friend. I thought I had you from the get-go, and then you just came back and won... Oh, I ended up only winning 1-0. Oh, Haunter, oh my gosh, that is super, super awesome. Uh, I'm so excited, though. But that is, that is the, uh, that is the battle. The semifinals, Herkimer Dreadnoughts versus the Hawaii Haunters. We move on to the finals, my friends. Uh, this is as far as I've ever made it in a draft league. Uh, my, my moves have paid off and, and, and whatnot. Too, unfortunately, Calyrex couldn't do anything, but I went, I, I went with my gut and my strategy from the get-go. It's like I felt like the only way to beat Haunter was was uh, was just to go big and strong from the get-go. And then the uh, planned fake-out was, was just absolutely, you know, it was incredible. And uh, a big congratulations to Haunter. You know, put up a great fight this season. And, uh, you know, big congratulations uh, on all your success this season. But... Uh, we move on to either fight uh, Chaos Six and the Detroit Red Wingles, or uh, Solo Salo of the Cornavaca Cyndaquils. So look forward to that next week, my friends. If you guys are hyped for that, remember to hit that like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Again, a huge congratulations to the Y Haunters. Thank you for a fun battle. That was epic, and uh, we will see you guys next week. Take care, everybody. Bye.